With the city as a backdrop, people were dancing the night away Saturday on the Manhattan Bridge, hundreds showing up for a flash mob dance party. The bridge's walkway transformed into a nightclub, professional DJ and all. The fun lasted four hours until the NYPD arrested three people for disorderly conduct. Anything that happens on the bridge with huge amounts of people that isn't under the control of the police is a terrible security risk. Terrorism expert Micah Halpern calls the party promoted on social media for days a blow to the NYPD. It's the fourth bridge security lapse in as many months, among them Memorial Day weekend when an abandoned vehicle on the Brooklyn rattled nerves. Yeah, he's on the top of the building. Then on July 4th, a Spider-Man wannabe repelled down the landmark. So who's watching for more sinister behavior? So these bridges are essential targets to the terrorist mindset because they say to the terrorist world, we've hit the heart of our target. They've already tried. In 2002, authorities foiled an Al-Qaeda operative's plan to cut support cables on the Brooklyn Bridge. In a statement, the NYPD said, quote, it can't be assumed we don't know about all such incidents. We we make arrests when appropriate and we continue to monitor bridges daily. After Saturday's party, officers were given a directive to keep closer tabs on bridges. Many are under watch of cameras, and today we saw officers posted at the Brooklyn. Well, they patrol the bridge, yeah. mostly like when there's protests and stuff, they'll patrol the bridge. They'll come with the captain and everybody will pass by. Isn't there like cop cars down that way that supposedly are watching the bridge, but I don't think that's enough. The NYPD says it constantly reviews and adjusts security at potential targets across the city. Officials say bridges will remain under heightened alert. At the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm Don Champion, CBS 2 News. At the George Washington Bridge, a commuter alert for...